We are talking about rosehip oil, the wondrous ingredient that has found its way into so many beauty products. I have divided this video into three sections. The first section gives you a little bit of history into the ingredient rose uh, and also how the rosehip oil is made. The second section talks about the 10 reasons why rosehip oil is the best ingredient to add to your skincare ritual and the last section is how i have added it to my ritual and how it has helped me over the years so if you just like to skip over to the last section you could do that so to begin with rosehip oil is actually made out of the rose fruit which is a little bulb that's left once the flower is shed it is extracted and then cold pressed to take out the oil. Now rose has been used in different cultures globally. It's used in Chilean culture, it's used in Andrean Indian culture, it's of course used in the, in the Indian culture as well. It is not only famous for its qualities to help skin but also for its fabulous aroma. It's only in the last few years that it's resurfaced back as a powerful ingredient and that's because there's been a huge global shift into clean beauty. Clean beauty is a product that does not hurt your skin, health or the environment. All three things are critical for sustainability today. So with the resurgence of clean beauty, we have a lot of these single ingredients, powerful ingredients that have resurfaced back to our skin rituals and thank God for them because they're so good and so effective. So let's now move over to the 10 reasons why rosehip oil is the most powerful ingredient that should be in your skin rituals today. The number one reason, it is packed with vitamin C and vitamin C as we know is fabulous for fighting free radicals and rejuvenating your skin. It also helps in lightening the skin and therefore it's great for light pigmentation, acne scars as well as sun damage. Point number two why rosehip oil is essential is it fights inflammation. Rosehip oil is great for dry itchy skin because it's able to calm the skin and therefore fight, uh, therefore help inflammation. Point number three why rosehip oil is, is essential is it also helps in a condition called rosacea. It's extremely helpful in rosacea because it helps calm the skin. Reason number four, rosehip oil helps protect collagen as well as reduce collagen. Collagen as we know is a very important building block for healthy young skin. And as we age, the collagen production goes down, therefore you find wrinkling and skin sagging. It's absolutely wonderful for collagen. Reason number five, it's packed with fatty acids which help repair micro damage in your skin, especially if you're using a scrub which is very really heavy duty and might, might create small tears on your skin. Rosehip oil is fabulous to heal that. Reason number six, it's non-irritating which means that it's not going to cause inflammation in your skin routine in any way. So unlike lemon, for which I'm a big proponent by the way and I have reasons uh, why I believe it's a great ingredient. Of course, you can't be using lemon directly on your skin, but when it's mixed with other great ingredients, it's one of the best things you can do to your skin. There's another video on it, which you could go and visit. So it is non-sensitizing, so you can use rosehip oil. It's also non-irritating, which means that if you're using it with other products, it generally tends not to interfere, interfere with any other product causing your skin irritation or even breakouts. Reason number seven, rosehip oil is great in fighting pigmentation that is caused by acne or acne scars. It helps in lightening the skin and also healing the skin because remember we spoke about the fact that it helps micro tears in the skin. So whatever damage and acne might have caused on your skin, it helps repair that. Reason number eight, it is great for dark circles. Now dark circles, as you know, is something that is caused internally as well. So dark circles is 80% internal issue, 10% topical care or any product or ingredient that you want to use and 10% sunscreen. There's a whole other video on that also. But for how it helps in dark circles, it is helps lighten it because it also helps heal the skin from top. Reason number nine, it's a single ingredient active, which means that by itself and in of itself, it can show you results. It doesn't require a base. It doesn't require additional active for it to perform which is the best thing you can do to your skin because when you're using single ingredient products, you know the amount of product you're using, you have better control over its usage. 
the last but not the least rosehip oil helps you in fighting hyperpigmentation or melasma hyperpigmentation is a condition that's caused because of hormonal issues is caused because of extreme photo damage is caused because of pcod so rosehip oil helps in fighting hyperpigmentation it does so because it's packed with vitamin a which is a retinoid and retinoids are able to get down to your subdermal level and i with authority can say that i have used rosehip oil for my own battles with melasma as you know that i used to swim from 4 o'clock to late in the night and back in the day there used to be nothing called sun protection nor were there any products available for it and of course there was no education around it and added to that i have pcod and therefore i'm on hormones which actually makes your skin more liable for photo damage so i have had massive battles with melasma i have seeked medical intervention which is also required for melasma but for me it didn't work out very well because one i was recommended hydroquinone which is a metabolite of benzene which is carcinogenic however hydroquinone is also used in beauty care and people tolerate it very well but i have reservations around it i would just rather err on the side of caution so i never use that plus also lasers i believe lasers are also Uh, also interventions that can sometimes exacerbate your pigmentation so and the same laser can actually heal it so there's always a hidden miss with lasers it's happened with me so i had to step away from medical intervention and actually go down the route of clean beauty and it's helped me tremendously i still have a little bit of uh, melasma and pigmentation but it's almost 80% resolved now let's move over to how i have used rosehip oil in my skin rituals I use it in the morning and in the evening. In the evening, I do a double cleanse. Then I'll do hyaluronic acid. Then I'll do a vitamin C, and then I'll use my night cream. I'll wait for about twenty-five minutes and then go in with rosehip oil in my pigmented areas. So the rule of thumb when you're doing layering in skin rituals is to go from thin to thick, or to go from light to dense. So in the morning, I do I repeat the double cleanse. Post double cleanse, I do a toner. Then I do a massage with rosehip oil. I use the lymphatic drainage massage. So it basically takes care of all the lymph lymphatic juices that might have collected overnight. Plus also helps the oil enter into my skin very nicely. I'll keep the oil for about twenty five thirty minutes and then repeat a double cleanse just to make sure I don't have any oil left in my pores. And that's it. I did it for about a year and a half and it had dramatic improvement on my melasma. I hope this helps and do keep coming back for more and please do subscribe. If you've had experience with rosehip oil, do let us know. I do hope to catch you soon again. Ciao for now.